everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, hi, my name is Busari Molayo and I'm a registered nurse based in Nigeria. On this channel, I film content related to nursing and healthcare. And in today's video, I am going to be explaining and applying the Florence Nightingale's environmental theory. If you're new here, please click on the subscribe button to join the YouTube family and also on the bell icon so you don't miss out when I drop a new video. With that being said, let's get right into the video for today. Alright, so let's meet our patient for today. Mrs. PD, a 35-year-old woman, was discharged home a week after surgery. Using Florence Nightingale's theory, adapt our environment to promote our health. So this is the case study that we would be using for today's topic. But first, let us get familiar with the theory itself, which is the Florence Nightingale's environmental theory. Now, the theory was um, propounded by Florence Nightingale, and she believed that a healthy surrounding is what is necessary for proper nursing care restoration and maintenance of health in other words she felt that the environment of a patient determines whether they will get better or not and you have to properly adapt the environment as a nurse to get them optimal care and to get the best possible client outcome so now let's talk about the constructs of the theory the florence nightingale's environmental theory has about 10 constructs as follows ventilation and warmth lighting cleanliness of the room health of houses bed and beddings personal cleanliness variety chattering hopes and advices food and observation now we are going to be considering each of these 10 concepts in this um, video in today's tutorial now let's not forget this is the case study we are working with so we are working with the case study of mrs pd if you've not written it down or made a screenshot of it please do so that as i am explaining you'll be able to follow through so on getting to mrs pd's house you found out that she had a maid so now you would assess the environment and also explain to the maid how to take care of a madam so the first thing you would have to work on is ventilation and warmth which is the first concept of the theory so you need to be sure that the room or the the house generally where mrs speed is going to be staying is properly ventilated there's cross ventilation so you can achieve that by ensuring the windows are open at appropriate time if there's artificial means of ventilation in the house like fans you turn them on and instruct the maid on how high the fans should be and how wide the windows should be open so as to ensure that um, mrs speedy's body temperature is not affected by the intervention and depending on the weather if it is cold you need to ensure that mrs pd gets enough warmth in the house either from a heater or using a blanket and ensuring that the blanket is also clean so you just have to make sure that the house is not stuffy she gets enough oxygen and she, her body temperature is kept at the normal range so that is for the first concept of the theory the second concept is lighting you need to make sure that the room or the house where mrs pd is going to be staying is properly lighted so you can open the windows for natural light to come in and if there's any source of artificial lighting such as light bulbs you put them on but you have to take caution or take care that you're not placing mrs pd directly against the light especially sunlight so that the uv rays from the sun doesn't do more damage to her skin but you make sure that the room is properly lighted because it would be wrong for you to place a patient in a dark room except when indicated the next concept is cleanliness of the room you need to instruct the maid taking care of mrs pd to clean the room and ensure that the house is clean free from gems and harmful objects like broken bottles or anything sharp objects that could 
injure Mrs. P D because you don't want an environment to cause more harm to our current state being a post operative patient. So you need to be sure that the windows are clean, the floors are clean, everywhere where she's staying, either in the room or the house is clean and free from germs that is the third concept of the theory the fourth construct is health of the houses put the house that miss pd is thin and the houses around it and just the general environment so you need to ensure that that place is not polluted based on air pollution like possibly if there are factories around releasing smoke into the air gaseous um gaseous content from exhaust pipe of cars you need to ensure that there's no noise pollution in our environment because she actually needs adequate rest you need to ensure that the water that is coming into the house like the source of water is good like the source of water is pure so that she doesn't take microorganisms um, while trying to drink water like the water she takes doesn't do more harm than good to her health and you also need to ensure that the house has uh, a proper drainage system because you don't want water to start clogging around in the area causing odor or allowing mosquitoes to breed or just making the environment unhealthy for her the next thing is bed and beddings you need to en- instruct mrs pd's maid to ensure that the bed is always properly laid clean it is always free from moisture crumbs pebbles the bread should be neat and the bed area should also be neat and the rationale behind this is that you want to prevent pressure sores or bed sores and when the patient's bed is clean and neat it will actually help the patients to sleep well because obviously no one wants to sleep on a bed that is not properly laid or is dirty or filled with so many things the next thing is personal cleanliness you need to ensure that Mrs. Speedy is taking her bath regularly, she combs her hair, she plates her hair, she's the kind that plates her hair, she always brush her teeth like twice daily, the clothes she's putting on are always clean clothes. You just need to ensure that she attends to her personal hygiene every single day because she's a post-operative patient obviously if she's not attending to herself, she's not cleaning her body, definitely there could be chance or opportunity for microorganisms to begin to grow on the surgical side that is if it's not completely healed or she may become susceptible to infections illness and so many other things so you need to ensure that she is clean at all times so you instruct the maid to always monitor her the next thing is varieties there should be um, a variety of things available in your clients or patients environment to reduce boredom to keep them active and to help them either communicate with people or still feel connected to the outside world so things like indoor games movies music or any other form of entertainment should be made available in the house or room of mrs pd the next concept is chattering hope and advice you need to ensure that whenever you're communicating with Mrs. PD, you say things that are positive. You instruct the maid to always say things that are positive. And if she would have visitors, the visitors should also say things that are positive. This helps to boost your patient's morale, make them feel healthy and still in control of their health so they can comply to treatment regimen. So when you want to talk to them, say things like everything will be all right or you'll be fine. This thing would um, just make sure you're saying positive things. Don't worry, the wound would heal up soon. You'll be out of bed very soon. You'll be able to go out very soon. You need to always keep a positive mindset when talking to your clients and create that positive orientation for them. The next concept is food. You need to ensure that the diet that Mrs. PB would PD rather would be taken contains all nutrients in the right proportion. So you have to instruct the maid that will be cooking for Mrs. PD on what to include in her diet. And since she's a post-operative patient, there might be more emphasis laid on protein and vitamins, which will help her to heal and um, rebuild the body tissues. Another thing is that you may have to create a diet plan or a meal plan specifically for Mrs. PD to achieve this um, 
food concept of the theory finally we have observation you need to continuously observe your patient so checking vital signs inputs and outputs the patient's response to drugs food her emotions the way she socializes with people the things she says if there are any complications from the surgery or if she has any fresh complaint you need to be sure that all your observations are backed up by evidence and not just your own intuition as a nurse so these are the 10 con concepts of florence nightingale's environmental theory please like drop a comment share to your friends so we can reach other nursing students that would need this video don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye